Hi, welcome back to the kitchen for today's cooking extravaganza or a new truck. What have we got? Well, it's, um, it's, uh, what's the brand? Um, uh, there, Pinecone, Pinecone model. So, yeah, not something that you've probably heard a lot about. Um, you will have perhaps seen them looking at the, the little drift cars, the, um, what also go down as UDIRC. I think they also get labelled as Pinecone. But today, it's a little crawler and it should be something pretty special. Now, this was pretty cheap. This came in at about £70. So it's super cheap. It's apparently got loads of good features. So let's get it out of the box. Horrible noises. So what have we got? We've got a manual. In colour, no doubt. A colour manual. Who would have thought? Some horrible plastic packaging. And inside a transmitter that doesn't look unlike the ones that you're getting with um, the little element or the um, FTX crawlers, um, but it's not. It looks like it, but it's not. Whereas those have a handle that slides off, this has a handle that pulls off there with a pressure point on each side not easy to do but there you go takes what just two AAs wow um, but here's the truck we'll get some batteries in that after uh, we've got a USB charger there's a single oh no hang on in the back here we've got two teeny weeny batteries and these are 300 milliamp hour 7.4 volt so they're 2s yeah we can see the cells in the back there little 2s cell and there's um, oops two of those so that's cool uh, in this bag we've got a little screwdriver, little screwdriver, little multi wrench, and oh, a little Allen key. Plus, no idea what that is. Some sort of blanking plate. Don't know where for. Is it for a number plate? Uh, no, there's no holes. Um, no idea what that's for. Some sticky Velcro. Don't know what that's for either. And some little clips of some description. And again, no idea what those are for. And having a look through the manual, which is a nice manual to be fair. Um, those little clips do not get a mention at all. Everything else, every other part is in there, but those clips, not there. But the car itself, what a beauty. This, believe it or not, is all die cast. The body is all die cast and it is very, very nice. Apart from the fact that I hate, I hate the fact that they've removed the old Defender and put this thing in. Um, it's a very, very nice model. Nice colour, this blue, you can also get it in a pale green. Um, but it's, it's very, very nice. 
even if it was just a static die cast model, it would be very nice. Um, it's got a bonnet that opens with all the engine detail under there. Doors open. Front and I think the rear ones do as well. Let's have a look. Can I get to that? There we go. Rear door. So all those doors open. Full detailed interior. And the back door as well. Now the battery, battery just sits in the boot there. Um, you've got a little ladder, a little fold down ladder, like the extras pack. On the, did I say Discovery? I meant Defender, if I did say Discovery. Um, yeah, like the extras pack on the Defender now, you've got this flip down ladder and you've also got a little shovel in there and the shovel itself believe it or not does come out <laughs> just in case you need a tiny tiny shovel to help you out of your little trailing predicament it's kind of ridiculous kind of pointless but it's kind of nice too so that just clips back in um, this box is the only thing that isn't really high quality on here. But anyway, that's the body. That all looks nice. Uh, we've got some nice, if not all that scale, wheels. Um, strangely, they've put this tiny spare on, which is completely different to these. A completely different scale, even. So I don't know why they did that. Bit of an oversight. But underneath, Believe it or not, we've got metal drive shafts. So full four link, front and rear, rigid axle, as you'd expect on any crawler, but with a kind of a more realistic floor pan. Um, little just spring shock, spring only, but on something this size, that's okay. I think that's probably going to give us a realistic or realistic enough sort of setup. Um, it's not going to have the biggest travel, but if you find me a modern Defender that has that sort of travel straight out of the box or straight out of the showroom, I'd be impressed. So it's not bad, it's probably fairly realistic. So overall, what a nice little car. Now, if you like the look of this little Land Rover and you want to get yourself one of those, I'm going to put a link down below. So check that out. Um, I will get a tiny commission through there if you get that. It won't cost you a penny more, but you'll also know that I have used that seller. So. I'm happy enough to pass that on. Um, again, if you want to get one of these and you want to look for it on your own, uh, the model number or the, the name of this is the uh, SG2402. Very catchy. Um, clearly not licensed. Um, although it has got a tiny badge on there. I'm going to have to get my magnifiers here and have a look what this little badge says. Um, Lemptonus. It's a Lemptonus. Of course it is. Of course it is. Straight from the British factory, the British Lemptonus factory. But anyway, if you want to get one of these yourself, hit that link, get one through there, and let me know what you think of it. If you've already got one and you've done anything with it, again, leave me a comment. Try to reply to everything. And let's see what we can do with these and compare them to some other mini crawlers that don't look as nice but might be slightly better. Anyway, thanks for watching. Catch us again on RC Pie.